Hello, welcome to the Future Game Show. Today, I am joined by a very special guest and my dear friend, Samantha Bayart, who you may know from Hobbs Barrow, but also, let's say, Carlac in Baldur's Gate 3. Um, you're also just a very nice person. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm a monster. This is Mr. Ben Starr. You know, as Clive Rossfield from Final Fantasy 16. Oh, but also, you might know us from the future game show Spring More Showcase. Importantly. More importantly. Which we will be doing or have done or are about to do at who some point in the future. Where we are in time. Let's right make now. this content evergreen. <laughs> And today, we are going to be interviewing each other. For better or for worse. Cheers. 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 Um, who wants to go first? I'll, I will go oh, first. Oh, I wanted to. But you asked me. I know, I know. <laughs> that was stupid. I know, okay. Uh, biggest guilty pleasure. Oh, uh, watching impacted earwax being removed from ears on YouTube. Look at you. Yeah, I, like you I love it, I love it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. the um, it's the like when they get the thing in the ear and you see like Aww. wax that's been there for like 20 years and they pick it out really, really slowly and I saw a cockroach being removed from one of them. Wow. Yeah, it's that's a great, lovely. it's a great Thanks thing. Thanks for sharing. Do your best impression of the other person's most iconic role. <clears throat> I have done my duty. That's really good. It's not bad, go on. I want to go to Build-A-Bear. <laughs> Straight from the game as well, perfect. Right. Last game you played? Uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. It's at one point I'm taking pictures of sickos on the tram and then someone's getting cut open with a machete. Oh, that's so cute. It's really so cozy. It's so great. Um, I love those games and they are vast and varied. I do want to give a big shout out to Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, and I got the platinum trophy on it. <laughs> Smug face, that's love bad. it. But I found myself like Howard Hughes, by the end of it, I think I'd kind of like lost any sense of self. I think cool. I didn't shower for five days. Amazing. Um, fully immersive. Fully immersive. Yeah. Um, Samantha, <laughs> what are you playing? I'm playing now? a game called Final Fantasy 16. It's the 16th game in the series and I'm enjoying it very much. Mm -hmm. We got to a really serious business. I don't know how I, if I'm spoiling anything talking Just tell about me, tell it. Me. Um, you've realised you did a bad thing. Oh yeah. The memories is come this, back. Is this mm. the prison scene? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a scene in Final Fantasy 16. It, it was pretty, Where it was pretty steamy. Is, For no pretty. reason. I don't know why you were naked, but you were. So I do know why he's naked in that scene. Did he lose the clothes becoming... No. no. Su no. Suicide Watch. So um, they... They, they were really mean. Sid was mean. Everyone was like... Well, yeah. What I did like was a little bit of brevity. This uh, gut outside. Yeah. You're not going to go mental again, are you? And I thought, that's, that's actually a really good impression. Thank you. That's what it needs. That, yeah. that needs it. It's a bit it's humorless. Otherwise. Very. It was and I like that. I appreciated intense. him for that. I really thought, oh, people are going to take this scene seriously. So how method did you get for that scene? I was always naked in the bed. Yeah. I have to tell <laughs> you. Always to naked when I recorded it. Capture I, this. I would watch. I would watch people stream that, this game, thinking, oh, okay, you're getting to this point. I, I can't wait to see what you make of it. And without fail, no one would talk about the acting in this scene. They'd just go, Clive's naked. Very tasteful nudity. It is very tasteful. You just see a lot of like sexy, sweaty rib. <laughs> to be fair, in yeah. the Final Fantasy series, not much nudity, not known for it. No. So, you know. Didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. <clears throat> <laughs> what is the most amount of takes in a row you've ever had to do? That I remember like really really annoying a director. It was in a TV show called The Kenzian, and there was this moment where my love interest's father was being taken away to prison, and we all had to stand in the doorway and just react as the, as the kind of the jail wagon left, and it was like, and I just had no idea how to react to it, and the director just said to me, it's not good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, oh. It was like the worst, the worst thing because I just felt like so bad. Like I had oh. no stakes. I was the person that people were going to be looking at least. No one and cared. And yet you were drawing attention for reacting my, in, a, in an inappropriate way. My performance was so bad. It was distractingly <laughs> bad. There were like, please, oh. I wasn't the only person reacting. There were like five or six other people what in the scene. What were they doing? What they were you were doing? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, and I, I still have yet to watch that episode because I think, but it was just, oh. she pulled me aside no. she pulled me aside yeah. and said i don't know what to tell you it's just not good here we go Ready? let's do it <laughs> Oop. interesting mm -hmm. what's the best piece of direction you've ever received um i can tell you about some of the best directors i've worked with go on the best director uh, kirsty gilmore who had held the entire 
game will always go through in her head. Mm -hmm. And so when she was, we were doing the Underdark, some other actor had done it maybe two years ago and she could remember exactly what was happening in that. And she was my eyes and ears in the world. Mm -hmm. And she just had this encyclopedic knowledge of, um, of, of wherever we were in Baldur's Gate, any time. For you? Yes. What's a song that gets you hyped and what's on your current music rotation? I did a Carlac playlist and it's mainly songs that I like. Go on. So I would always say her, one, she's only got one song in her head and it's Ace of Spades by Motorhead. This mm -hmm. sums up the whole character. My personal song is Immigrant Song by uh, Led Zeppelin. Mm. That's the quick answer. That's nice. My quick answer is Outro by M83. Oh, do you often sing by the way? Do you often like sing out loud? No. No, okay. Neither do I. <laughs> I am to Neither do I. No. <laughs> no. Losers do that. <laughs> I would never. What's one job? you didn't get that's not voice acting i have this philosophy the jobs you don't get are just opportunities to get the jobs that you will there was a job that i really really wanted it was a tv job for itv and i went and i met the producers i met the director i did a, a full chemistry test and i was going to go move to this other country and mm. do this job i couldn't wait to do it and then i got the call saying unfortunately they've gone in a different direction but had i had i got that job I would never have been available to audition for Clive Rossfield in Final Fantasy 16. And that job has mm. changed my life. I will always think of those two months mm. in between me not getting the job for one thing and then getting Clive and how those small moments and those losses provide opportunities. They are just different doorways mm. to whatever your future is going to be. And that's kind of my philosophical take on, on failure. And there is yeah. a lot of failure. It's the hope that kills you. It really is. Yeah. You have to care because you can't fake that. Yeah. And then you've got to be able to absolutely chuck that in the bin yeah. at the end of the audition. And for me, it's um, the audition is the job. You've, mm -hmm. done, you've done the audition and now it's over and that's mm -hmm. the way I get through it. Mm -hmm. I like to also have a little nosy around on Google see if I can work out what the game is. Yeah, I do that all the time. <laughs> I love it. People think they've codenamed it really well. Yeah, no, they haven't. <laughs> that said, I didn't, I didn't know for Final Fantasy. I didn't. They'd taken all the code names out. Oh, so there was no reference there was to... no reference there was no reference to crystals there was no right. reference to that, yeah, that would have been Sid and Ifrit. if there's a Sid you know you're in a Final Fantasy game and right? that, but that's know, which what one it, but that's what it was it was yeah. the word Sid that made me yeah. realize eventually but they'd taken it out for yeah, the audition yeah, yeah. <laughs> share your go-to vocal warm-up technique <laughs> um, I was gonna say screaming yeah <laughs> I I just, I just do that, do this. <laughs> so that's that's a vocal stretch for the back of the palate. It's the just soft a palette. vocal stretch, yeah. Yeah. I, I think warming up is massively important. Also, this morning we had to do some stuff. We did, and we hadn't warmed up. We had and not. So we had to. Good luck finding the bits we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. We, knock yourselves out. We had to. We had to do that, <laughs> and we suddenly went. Blah, 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 blah. I assume all my vo vocal warm ups are oh, articulation. I feel very strong. Uh, this is, I mean, this is from eating, really, but there is a diaphragm, apparently, guys, a muscle called diaphragm behind there. What was your first role in video games? Um, my first role was, um, a, oh, this is great, was um, assorted characters uh, in uh, Quantum Break, uh, and I blame Sam Lake for this. Um, they spelled my name wrong, <gasps> so um, they spelled it with one R. I was going to say, was it three R's? Yeah, eight R, uh, yeah, <laughs> just like, but sorry, <laughs> uh, no, they took one R off. So oh, on my rude. IMDb page, it goes Ben Starr, also known as Ben, ben Starr, Star. because of that one role. Ben Starr one and Ben Starr four. I have a bone to pick with Remedy. This will only be sorted out when, when Ben and I have a leading role in the next game. Thank you so much, Sam. That's right. Weirdest line of dialogue you ever had to record? Um, uh, 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 oh, was that Gail's granddad? Because I needed so much context for that, and it was very funny. And I said, "How stupid can I go on this?" And they said, "As stupid as you possibly can." And how stupid did you go? Oh, was that Gail's granddad? Is that what you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really good. Actually. It's a really, really tense moment for poor Gail, and it's the equivalent of like Gandalf walking in. Yeah. She's like, "Oh, he's so cute, this That's old cute. fella." Yeah. And it's like he's a god. <laughs> she hasn't got a clue. Oh, was that Gail's granddad? I, I I don't really know what the weird lines are. I, they all kind of like blend into one. Um, I know there was one where uh, Clive has to um, talk about stretchy metal for some reason. He goes on a side quest and this person invents stretchy metal and Clive has to go, stretchy metal? Acting is just pretending at the end of the day. It is. Okay. Pokemon or Power World? Controversial? Maybe, maybe not. I, I 
I think there's no controversial answer to this, and that is Pokemon. I grew Thank up. You. I'm a Pokemon red boy. I collected all the Pokemon <laughs> cards as a kid. I had them all. Um, I became completely obsessed. In Final Fantasy VIII, I named all of the GFs after Pokemon. <laughs> uh, that is where I was at at that point. Nice. Pokemon? Oh, Pokemon, obviously. What's your favorite movie performance of all time? <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> performance. I would say mine <laughs> would be, uh, it would be Robin Williams in Aladdin. Cool. Um, I can see how that, though I remember there being so much behind the scenes as well and we could see how he was working. Mm -hmm. And that's what we all expected, wasn't it? It'd be bouncing around a booth somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make some magic! Let's blow this popsicle stand! A door stop would be a fabulous career. <laughs> Obviously, if I've, as I've grown up, I've probably seen performances that have affected me more as an adult, but as a kid, like seeing what he was able to do. I, I think a lot of the performances that you, like I will talk about, like Jim Carrey, Robin Williams, it was these very, very animated, dynamic mm. performances that mm. showed the how the human condition can kind of be reflected in all of these different mm. ways. And I think that he is so just unbelievably compelling to watch mm. in every way. And his performance, even as a as in a cartoon, comes across completely. He owns that, yeah. he owns that performance. I, I'd say an underrated, a favorite underrated performance of mine, Laura Palmer in Fire Walk With Me, which I also saw quite young. Wow. I thought it was so operatic yeah. and so unloved because at the time Twin Peaks was like, it mm -hmm. fallen out of fashion and everything, but I think it really stands up. Best video game song or soundtrack? Oh, you've got the answer. I can see it, you look smug. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm obviously very biased. Uh, Nobuo Uematsu has produced some of the greatest works of uh, musical art ever. Um, so just any sort of music from Final Fantasy, I could list many. Um, but I am gonna say that a, a, a recent soundtrack, not recent, but more recent mm. is, Anything from the Nier soundtrack, so Nier Replicant or um, Nier Automata or Nier Automata. Um, they are just so varied and haunting mm. and brilliant. Um, big fan of the, the work in Nier. Mm. What about you? I, I was going to say that I've, I've, I was listening to the Distant Worlds recordings because um, that's sort of the only, I guess it's the only way to hear those Final Fantasy soundtracks fully orchestrated, right? I've been to the Royal Albert Hall mm -hmm. in London, my friend was in the choir. For it, so I got a ticket and I That's watched cool. it, and then then playing your game uh, because it's your game. Uh, when the themes come through, it's it's very teary. Yeah, it is. So these arpeggios start in the background. Yeah. You hear what? Like, even the battle music. It's da, a matter of soak so in a The victory I do it all the time. Fanfare. Any time in any game now, I'm humming that to myself. It's so iconic. <laughs> it really, really yeah. is. Samantha, how was your coffee? It's great, it's cold water. Oh, okay. How's yours? Uh, finished. Mm. Should we go? Yes, please. Okay.